Greetings and salutations. Today is September, Sunday, September 13th, and I went on a little adventure today. So let me just show you what happened. So I started off by getting up stupid early and driving my husband to the train station because he has school today, and then I headed to Starbucks where I proceeded to become extremely nervous about the task ahead while I waited for my first ever Americano. I know I said I like tea, but there is just something about this drink that is just too amazing. And I'm, normally I'm not the hugest of coffee fans, but in honor of my father, I've decided to try Americanos. And in this pretty fall cup and the blurry, but you can kind of see the leaves are all yellow where I am. It's a great start to what is sure to be an interesting day. And then I sat in my car and tried to figure out where the heck I was actually supposed to end up for this little adventure. Then I met up with a friend and we stood in line for two hours, but there was this happy sight right beside us. I promise. And then it was time for the magic to happen. So, quick aside, I was getting the semicolon tattoo. The semicolon tattoo is a movement that is meant to promote mental health awareness and suicide prevention. The idea is that a semicolon is just a pause. It's not a period, it's not the end, it's just a midway point. As someone who struggles with mental health problems, I thought this was a pretty good first tattoo, but I was terrified and I didn't want to go by myself. Luckily, I had a friend text me last night and tell me that she was also going and so we met up and got to spend a bunch of the day together, which was super awesome. So the woman who tattooed me was a lovely lady named Rosanna, who she was one of 12 artists that had volunteered their time today to tattoo for free anyone who paid the $50 entrance fee to get the small semicolon tattoo. All of the proceeds to this event are going to Edmonton's only walk-in mental health facility. Therapy isn't always covered by insurance and it can be very expensive, so having a free walk-in mental health clinic in the city that I live in is very important to me, and I wanted to do all I could to support it. So she started off by positioning where the tattoo was going to be, and I proceeded to tell her that if she didn't tell me when she was going to start, I'd probably flinch and punch her in the face. So the only thing I ask is that you let me know when you're about to start. Oh, for sure. Whenever I get needles, I need to watch it go in. I obviously can't watch that going in, so I just want to know. Then she had me get myself settled on the tattoo table. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> All right, so now you can just lie on your back here, and then you'll oh. be facing your friends. Yay. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the thing that's happening. You're on a tattoo table. I'm on a tattoo table. I'm a little terrified. Are you sure you don't want a hand to hold? I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> and then I had to wait for her to get everything all bagged up and attached, and I don't really understand what she was doing. This was my first ever tattoo, so that was pretty neat. I watched for a little bit. I then proceeded to recite a few mantras to get myself through this because I was really, really, really nervous. You're okay. I'm good. I'm okay. You got this. You're my child. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mom. Nothing bad has happened yet. Nothing bad has happened yet. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Nothing bad is gonna happen. The friend that I had gone with had run into a friend while we were waiting in line. She had already had the tattoo down and was gonna stay for moral support and was very, very kind enough to hold my hand while my other friend was recording. Thank you. I don't even know you and you're holding my hand. Thank you. Oh my god, yeah, that's why I'm here. That's like my whole job today is holding hands. <laughs> I like it. And then it started. Alright, we do it. She's gonna start right about now. Yeah, I'm gonna start okay. right now, alright? Yeah. I usually kind of you know, let you feel the vibration first before I kind of touch it. <laughs> yeah. Can I get on that skin? Yeah. Not too, too bad here, eh? No. I told you there's an acupuncture point there. It feels great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. I Mine swear. Sounds great. I wanted him to keep tattooing it behind my ear because I was like, oh, this is like a headband. Yeah, like that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I know the audio is bad and I'm sorry, but essentially what I was saying was that it felt less painful than a mosquito bite. You know when you have a mosquito and it's like on your arm and you just kind of let it suck for a while and then it just kind of does its thing for a bit and then it like starts to get kind of sharp and pointy and painful and it, there's, there's like a weird pulling sensation? 
it was like that, but a lot less severe for me, which was really, really bizarre. All in all, I think this was a good first tattoo to get. Like, you get a nice little piece for it, at least. First tattoo. For sure. You are just about done. Two seconds. I'm trying to take it. There you go. So that's what I did today. You can kind of, I don't even know if I can make it so that you guys can see this. I'm gonna go like this and hope that that works. But yeah, I that's what I got done today. That was my little adventure for the weekend. I was gonna drag my husband, but he had school, so I was very, very lucky that I had a friend that ended up going. Otherwise I would have gone by myself and I don't think that would have been very fun, but yeah, that was my Sunday. I hope you all had a fabulous Sunday and let me know what your guys' first tattoos were. I'm kind of curious to know. I, this one has a lot of meaning for me, so I felt it was a good first tattoo to get, but if anyone wants to share their tattoo stories, I would be very excited to hear them, and yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm addicted now, so I have to decide what I'm gonna get next, but that'll come. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We will be back to Arena tomorrow. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.